Beautiful. It's so gorgeous. Okay, so uh, let me, Ashley, you fill in the audience what we're doing here, Miss Anna. So <clears throat> right now what we're doing is we're making a scatter plot with a quadratic trend line along with um, an equation for the trend line. Beautiful. Okay, so now that we've actually shown the audience where we're going, I want you to hit your delete key and get rid of that beautiful graph. Uh, and then go ahead and start okay. over and just selecting your data and yeah, inserting it all of it. One, so go one. ahead and escape out of it. Just keep hitting escape, escape. until the graph goes escape. away. I know this is typically escape. not our issue. Escape. You know escape. what? Let's show everybody how you reselect your graph because people don't know how to do that once they lose focus of it. So please tell the commands as you're doing it. Okay, so for to select your graph, you press Control-T, Control go to dialog, reference, colon, edit, combo, to set the volume, use the arrow keys, or type the volume, hold R, Land, go to special dialog, select comments, radio button, check, 1 of 15, to change, alt, object, radio button, check, 13 of 15, to change the selection, press enter, put 1, that's yourself. just hit your delete key and get rid of it. Yep. <laughs> Yay! It also deleted all your data, so you get to put your data back in, too. Well, that's always fun, right? I know, isn't that? Absolutely! Land, A2. <laughs> for sale, land, A1. One, enter, land A2, enter, three, enter, land A4, four, one, A1, land B1, one, enter, land B2, two, two, four, enter, land B3, eight, enter, land B4, three, nine, 39, enter, land B5, put one, dash itself, 39, B4. Oh yeah, 39, that's really going to butcher it. <laughs> that's going to really put a dot on. Eight, B3, land B4. I'm going to put like, one, nine, 19, enter, land B5. That looks good. Land B5. Uh, four. Four. Two. And now what do we always four. have to do? Oh, you're going to put one more line? Okay, just make sure you put a A. You probably should Land explain A5. to your audience that six, A is X six, and B yeah. is Y. Yep, yep, yep. Always. So A is X and then B is Y. Four, right. A4. Four, five, A5. Five. Okay. Now what do you do? Uh, now can I Control shift down arrow, control shift right arrow, select A1, 1, B5, 24. And then, Alt, Alt and you're going to your insert. Upper ribbon, group box, D, leaving menu box, scatter button to navigate, press upper, enter. enter. Ribbon. Gorgeous. Woo! Beautiful. <clears throat> Let's just quickly change your chart title first before we go into your trend line. Okay, so you go into Alt, J, Alt, C, C upper Alt A. And Alt A. Menu, leaving menus, access submenu to move through items, press upper down arrow, Alt follow, and access title sub, chart title submenu, Alt follow by J, C, A, C. Enter. enter. Upper ribbon, lower ribbon. Above chart button selected to move through the controls on the screen. Enter. Leaving menu bar. And then you can type in. O. N. Enter. Gorgeous. Okay. Give me a beautiful trend line now. Okay, so now you can. Alt C. Alt A. Menu. Leaving menu. Access up menu to move. Skype colon. Jordana. Enter. Percent. Leaving menu. Upper ribbon. Lower ribbon. Design group box. Chart layout. Group box. None button to move through the controls on the screen. Use tab or shift tab or use the arrow keys. Chart options. And let's explain why we need to go into more. Leaving menus. Why? Because menu, menu, your, option, your advanced menu, advanced menu, advanced menu. math option is not in <laughs> the basics. So that's the reason why you have to go into more. Okay, keep going. Oh, let me move the, I'm going to have to float your, hold on, let me float the page over. Because you're, you're, uh, there we go. Okay, now I'm, now, now we're ready. Okay, now explain. Okay. So you need format trend line options. Go ahead, explain. Um, so right now it gives you um, different things to do with your trend line. So I think you want to get into, oh, I forgot. Just I tab twice. Things. Yeah, and yeah. I just, and I just, uh, just so the audience knows, I just taught her this, and this is how bright she is. So she's going to get this. Tab twice. Tab, down into menus, tab, trend line options, yep. button check to activate, press space bar. Yep, and then tab one more time. Tab, linear radio button check to change the selection, press upper down arrow L. Yep. Good. Logarithmic radio button check. Polynomial radio button check to change the selection, press upper down arrow P. Yep. Tab, order edit spin box 2, type of text. Um, and your order is 2. Yep, but you can change it to whatever you wanted to, but we like to. Keep going. So then you press tab again. Tab, automatic radio button check to change the selection, press upper down arrow A. Scroll down. Custom radio button check. Good. Automatic radio button check to change the selection. Press up or down arrow. Yeah, you can use it automatically. Custom radio button check to change the selection. Press up or down Tab and put a custom label if you want to. Um, Automatic radio button check to change the selection. Press up or down arrow. Uh, it will depend on what the teacher says. Just know that you have that option. If he accepts automatic, that's fine. If he says he wants a trending name to it, you need to go to custom 
and then tab. Let's just show the audience how to do it because automatic is automatic. So go ahead and go down arrow custom to custom and then tab and then just put a name in there and give it a trend line name. Okay, good. And then tab down to Lesson your tab. display equation. Format is 0 0.0 type of text. Um, yep, just keep going to display tab, equation. Tab, zero point oh, type of text. B. Oh, that's tab, set it for sub checkbox, tab, display equation, chart checkbox, not checked, subject, space, box, space, check. Good. Tab, Beautiful. display our match square value, chart checkbox, not checked, trend line options button, okay. activate, now, space, now. options, that means you're back at the top, so you can go and close this box. Is that an option to close your, your option, uh, to close your P-A-N-E? <laughs> Well, you would press um, Control Space, and then you would press P to close. That's right, control because space, we need to close our window pane. Otherwise, one, it becomes seven. a P A I N. Okay, and there's your graph. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. Oh, that is something to behold. Let me tell you. Thank you very much, Miss Anna. Do you have anything else wonderful to tell your audience about quadratic <laughs> equations? <laughs> Um, well, I mean, they're, they're fun, I guess. Yeah, and now they're a whole lot fun. Wait, and now you get to go they're into your school. Easier, more like. She won. Yeah, yeah. Teacher, one, one. Connection to target computer closed. 